So uh, about a month ago or so, uh, a friend of mine called, and his uncle's farm had some damage from a storm that uh, had occurred. There was a lot of wind damage, and uh, one of his barns came over, and uh, he was getting rid of the wood, and uh, I was able to pick up a bunch of it for free, which was pretty cool. Um, so here is one of the pieces right here. Look at that. Got some nails in it. It's got a mortise and tenon, a pinned mortise and tenon. It's a pin there. You can see the pin on the other end. There's another one here and here. That one's broken off. So this was part of the structure of the barn, and it was had been cut uh, before I got there. There was some Amish that had taken some of that. So uh, I thought it'd be kind of cool to carve a wood spirit into the corner of this right where these nails are, so I'll have to take those out and then maybe put something on that. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but let's start with the wood spirit and see where we go from there. So I've got this uh, roughed out and uh, I got to do some more work. This is too high here yet for the mouth area. What I've been noticing, this is um, white pine, I believe it is what it is. And uh, it's very splintery. I've already uh, uh, cut off, you know, a big chunk fell off here. I had to glue that back in. And uh, so I don't think I'm going to go with hand tools anymore. I was going to do all 100% hand tools for this one, but uh, I think I'm going to convert over to power tools now just because uh, I'm getting too many um, um, tear outs. Now for some polyurethane cut with mineral spirits to seal it up. So this is what it looks like after some polyurethane on there. I did a little bit of the hair. I'm not real happy with this part here. I might do something there 
uh, different carve out a little bit and put, reapply some polyurethane. But otherwise, I, I kind of like it. Um, I was thinking I was going to put some coloring on here, but I think I'm good with this. I am going to do one more thing, though. So in the beginning, I had all these nails that were in here and these holes are left. I think I'm going to put those nails back in. So it looks like that. And that, I might have to pound some of those in. Just for fun. Not easy to tell on camera, but I really don't like this now. So I'm not sure what to do. But I think I'm gonna try, maybe match this color here with some oil paints. I've got uh, some black, some brown, and some red. I'm gonna mix that up and see if I can't get that to match. Actually, that turned out better than I thought it would. That looks pretty darn close. Oh, yeah, and I put the nails in. I think that looks, actually looks really interesting. And the nails, and especially with that the iron staining on there. So, there we go. I don't think I could call this one finished, though. Not yet. Um, it does look like it needs something on top. Um, it, looks, it looks a little unfinished to me. Um, so I'm not sure. I was thinking like a crow sitting on top um, or other some other kind of bird. Not really sure. So if you have an idea, put your comments down below.